In the previous lesson, we developed an understanding of how to divide things into equal groups. Let us now look at some examples to understand this in more detail. Example 1 Do you like laddus? Guru Panda also likes to eat laddus just like you. Gulu Panda saw 20 laddus. He wants to carry laddus equally for his friends. He has 4 empty plates. Can you help him divide these 20 laddus equally into 4 plates? We can write this question this way. Four equal groups of 20 laddus equal to... How many laddus per group? First, we will put one laddu in each plate. We will repeat it till all the laddus are over. We can see that there are five laddus in each plate. In this way, Four equal groups of 20 laddus equals to 5 laddus per group. Hey, 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 oh, oh, oh. what happened? Who is hidden under so many gifts? Oh, look, it is Sher Khan. The poor guy was buried under a pile of gifts. Can you help him? Keep the gifts in his cupboard. You can keep five gifts in every shelf. So, tell me how many shelves will be required to keep 25 gifts of Sher Khan? We can write this question like this. 25 gifts divide 5 gifts Per shelf equals to how many shelves? First, we will put five gifts on one shelf. Now, we have 20 gifts. Now, we will keep five gifts on the second shelf. So, now we have 15 gifts. Now, we will put Five gifts on the third shelf. We have ten gifts now. Now, we will keep five gifts on the fourth shelf. So, we are left with five gifts now. Now, we will put five gifts on the fifth shelf. All the gifts are now over. Oh, wow! <laughs> Look, Sher Khan is so happy. Hope you have understood the concept of division better through these examples. If you want to review these examples, then you can watch this video again. In the next video, we will cover some common mistakes related to this.